Hello and welcome to preschool. My name is Carrie Straw and I'm the preschool teacher here at St. Mary's Elementary. A little bit of background about myself. I have an associate's degree in early childhood education. I have an infant toddler credential and I have 17 years experience working in the early childhood field with ages birth all the way to age six. So what do we do in preschool? In my early childhood background, we know that the brain connections are so important for those first years of development. And that's why it's so important to work on those developmental stages of physical development, which is the fine and gross motor skills, the social emotional language and the cognitive development, which is our thinking skills. We do this on a play based learning, which is child led and studies are showing that it really helps in motivating the learning because children are doing what they are interested in doing. And they're able to put that helps them to play, explore, and create. What does our classroom look like? When you enter our classroom, we will have centers that are all in, available for children who with different interests. Some kids like to come in and play dress up, and they like to create their home environment. One is the mom, one is the dad. They have babies that they can feed. They can make a meal, so they're able to explore their imagination. Some, we have creating areas where they're able to work on their art, their process art, not product, um, and Play-Doh area so they can create and mold. Um, and also we have exploration. So we have a build, we have block area where they can build roads and build houses. They have, we have a uh, sensory table where they're able to look through and try to create things and work on their fine motor skills to, to use tweezers to pull things out. So there's many things to do, many interests that help the child. It is my job as the teacher and my assistant to help make sure that everything's running smoothly during this process. So we do that by helping with solving problems. We help with sharing and using your words and making sure that, that each child is safe. So how does play look like while development, working on those developmental skills? So let's take the Play-Doh area, for example. While we see them creating and building and playing with the Play-Doh, there, there's many skills that they're doing. Um, the most important one is they're working on their fine motor skills. They're pinching, they're twisting, and that's helping, that's helping those, building those muscles, that pinching and grasping muscles. And we need that because in order to be able to write our names, in order to cut with scissors, we need those muscles developed in order to do so. We um, have language, so it's a, it's a table. So we're talking, we're doing, being sociable with other kids. We're asking them things like, you know, pass the tools, simple as that, or as, what are you making? I can make that too, look at mine. So it's, it's helping with the social and the language. Um, it's also helping with the creative mind, this problem cognitive development. They're trying to, well, you know, Johnny's making this, how can I make that? Oh, I see he's using this tool. So he, they're, they're using those thing, the thinking skills to try to figure out how to do what maybe Johnny's doing. Um, and another important thing we use for Play-Doh is when is it's very calming for a child. So when a child's angry or when they're sad, um, it helps release that through their pounding and pressure. So we've seen many times kids will come in and they're just angry today. We'll bring them over to the Play-Doh area and they can stomp or whatever. And then maybe just give them a talk and let them know that they're okay. Other goals I want to share is that we do process art and that's just creating and exploring. So here are some examples of process art. While it looks like just a blob, um, the process of making things and working with lines and being able to create, that's really important for that development. We work on phonics awareness and that we use that our sound basket for that. Um, they're learning that A says a, a, apple and they find out that there are letters in their name. They can relate to those as well. We have group play, which we call our morning meeting, and that's our interaction um, that we do. Um, things like we have a weather bear. We talk about the weather. We talk about what day it is. We talk, read stories. We learn um, lessons of the day. We were really intrigued with winter. And so we talk, brought in some snow and the snow melted. Well, we started talking about what is winter, what is snow, what is cold, what is hot. Um, and we even went so far as to talk about 
how do animals survive in the winter? They hibernate, they adapt, or they migrate. So it's amazing what they can get from those interactions. But basically it's just to be able to talk with one another. And one thing I really love about St. Mary's is that it's faith-based. I love that we're able to um, talk about religion. Um, that's really, really important for me. Um, we pray. We read stories in the Bible. We are able to go visit the church. We went over to see um, the manger. And probably in Easter, we'll go see the beautiful cross that's in church. Um, we have a happy birthday, baby Jesus birthday party. So, and the children are excited because we have a party for him. And we bring in... Um, gifts that we can use that we give to the community so we bring in food we bring in um, personal hygiene and we can give that to our community which is wonderful and we also have a christmas program who doesn't love to hear a little child sing beautiful songs i also want to talk about certain goals that i have in preschool so my first my main goal is that each child feels safe in their environment and they're feeling loved in their environment when they feel safe and loved, they're able to explore, they're able to make mistakes, and they feel comfortable about being able to just play. I do this by bonding with each child. I feel like I need to know who they are, what their interest is, and that helps me as a teacher to work on what skills, what developmental areas I wanna work with the child. You can see that through we have an example, we're gonna say Amy. Amy was Amy really loves to play in the block area. She loves to crate and stuff, but I also know that her fine motor skills really need to work on. So I can bring in a paper and say, Amy, you did such a good job with this, with um, drawing these lines or draw, building this road. Let's see if we can create it and draw it. Or I'll take her to the Play-Doh area and we can build roads there. So that's, so that's how I implement those developmental stages along with their interests. So my goals include helping a child feel safe and loved in their environment, loved in the classroom, that they are important, that they matter. I learn what areas of development I want to work with each child on. I focus on fine motors development. And I have them, I want them to leave this classroom knowing that they want to come back to school. They want, they love school. And that is my job as their first teacher is that they love school and they want to come back. If you have any questions, if you'd like to talk to me, you may call me at St. Mary's. Um, I'm here usually in the morning till usually 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Otherwise, you can visit our classroom on our virtual tour at RegisCatholicSchools.com. I want to thank you for your time and welcome, welcome to St. Mary's. I really look forward to working with your child. Thank you so much.